This is just the outline, the process that I'm supposed to follow. About is in. Now this hair needs to go. Cause what the hell? And it's even cutting my hair line more. Nobody. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all fine and keeping safe. If you're new here, my name is Masha. I'm a YouTuber based in Nairobi, Kenya. Welcome to the club. And if you're a channel subscriber and viewer, thank you for always coming back, clicking on my channel. So today is another day in the life. I'm doing my first IP visit today, so I thought I should bring you along. So I'm going first to, to my university. Well, that is where I'm going to pick my IEP file, which has the procedures that I'm supposed to fill in. And then I attach the form of acceptance, which I'm going to take to the school. And then, now I'll be linked to a teacher, who will be the link between me and the special student. So I'm going to devise an individualized education program for that student. And then you're going to see if uh, the goals that we're going to set for the students are going to be met. Uh, we have short-term and long-term goals, and uh, I'm going to make sure it works. If uh, this one student works, I know that when I get a whole classroom, I'm going to be able to manage that. So come along on this day and let's see how this day goes. After putting together the IEP file, I had to go to the school where I was going to interact with the learners, get a, a few of the students and then pick one which I was going to make the IEP for. And uh, so I decided to go to town from the university, then get a matatu that goes straight to the school. But I was unlucky because I didn't know that those matatus only go to those sides in the evening because the people who were there told me that during the day most of the people who live there have their personal cars so matatus don't go there but in the evening there are a few who come from work or uh, i don't know who go to those sides so it was so unfortunate i felt so sad but uh, because i ended up using 130 shillings when i thought i was only going to use 50 but because my reason for coming to this side from the university and then connecting instead of just taking a bike or going through the route that I came with. Uh, it was because I thought I was going to save, which I did not. So it was so sad, so unfortunate. But anyway, it was a good day, so that didn't matter much at the end of the day. I am a major English literature. English and literature. Mm. So but I think at primary level, I am a subject. <laughs> yeah, after high school. Like me, most of you are going to be in uh, Unicef. Mm, yeah. Like you see, just, just the same. Mm. Teaching is the same everywhere. Everything. Yes. After junior you mathematics, you have to It's not difficult. It's something what you learn in form one. Yeah. Mm? You're already in the. The only me on a size is what to a grade eight to an out to me a math log table. Yes. What? You're like in the mile. See, 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 Mm. So like what we did in, in uh, Form 1, so you require introduction. Mm. We actually, actually used to, 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 to Form 2, Form 3, Form 4. Form four. Form. Like in introduction. So I'm not an introduction to the Yapanjo grade 8. So grade... Uh, grade... Uh, grade... Uh, 
grade 9 sasa wanaanza kutumia it is just the same even in science eh? mm. ile introduction kama um, uh, laboratory equipment mm in the letter of the grade 7 uh, what used to be from 1 mm. in the grade 7 mm. well, more we go out then they keep it so they can more impact so that's how you are grade? this is grade 6 so guys, 2 hours later I have finished my visit it was so nice I feel so good. I can't wait for the other one. So I'm coming back on Monday. And then I've been told now I'll be given a class to teach <laughs> or interact with the learners so that I can identify the ones whom I'll be walking the journey with. So unfortunately, I couldn't record much in the school. You know, the privacy of the learners, the teacher, the school policies and stuff. And also, I wouldn't want to record learners without their parents' consent. You know, they are minors. So right now, I'm going to to a meeting. I've had to leave, so I'm going again to a meeting. I need today, I'm spending a lot of money on fare. Hey. So I'm rushing to a meeting. So I'll catch you there. Where we offer dental services. I was literally the second person to arrive at the conference hall. There was another lady already there charging hmm? her phone, so I just waited. Hmm. So let me take you through what is contained in the IEP file. This uh, is the file. So this cover page is supposed to contain my name, the name of the school that I'm going to, and uh, the title of the project, which is the IEP individualized education program yes so inside now I have the work that I'm supposed to fill in the templates so when you come here this is the acceptance form so this is the form that was given from the school uh, which I'm supposed to take to the school where I'm supposed to do the IEP that is if I'm accepted and yes I was already accepted so down here there is the stamp for the school that uh, I've gotten for the IEP, here is the stamp of my university, then this is the form. And then these full scabs I'm going to fill in, this is just the outline, the process that I'm supposed to follow. This one was planned accordingly, I just didn't wake up and uh, go and get this already done. This was, uh, this was uh, what the lecturer broke down for us and then we went and uh, created this. So this is the table of contents. So I'm supposed to have all this work filled. Here is the IEP timetable. So I'm supposed to have my timetable and then the class timetable of the student. Then this is the sitting plan or chart. So I'm going to have the sitting plan of the whole class so that when I identify my students, I'm going to know where they sit exactly. Information about the learning environment. I'm going to describe the school the resources available, the classroom that the learners are in, the resources available, and uh, how they are contributing to the performance of the learners. And then here I have the historical background of the learner. Now, after I've singled out the learners, uh, the ones that I'm going to devise the IEP for, I'm going to remain with one whom I'm going to fill in this project. So it's going to act as my sample, not my specimen. <laughs> Then the present level of performance, this is the performance level of the student, the current, before we begin the objectives and the plans that you're going to set up. And then uh, long and short term objectives, as I already told you at the beginning of the video. The, the long term, which has, um, those ones are the ones that are to be accomplished or to be achieved or to be met by, say, the end of the term or the year and then the short term those are the weekly goals that we are going to set i am going to set uh, as i work with the teacher to see how we can help the student improve all students are able differently then here is the schemes of work here uh, if you don't know the schemes of work that is like literally the whole work that is supposed to be covered in a uh, specified period of time in a school so that one is for the teacher. 
and even the students. So you write the work, the t topic, subtopic, and the objectives that are supposed to be achieved. Then the progress records, now I'm going to be recording every progress that the student makes. Uh, and then here's the lesson plan. For every lesson that I'm going to be attending uh, to teach or to interact, I'm going to be planning my lesson carefully before going there. Then conclusion and final recommendations. I'm going to give my overall view or conclusion from the assessment. And then I'm going to recommend uh, the ways that the student can be improved or uh, if they are now ready to learn well in an inclusive setup with the rest of the students. Yes, so that is what is included in the IEP generally. So it's going to be a beautiful journey. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a very wonderful project. As you've already seen, the school that I went to, I didn't go to a post school. I believe in um, rendering my service or help where it is needed the most. Yeah, you see in uh, private institutions or uh, post schools, it is easier for them to get like already professionals or uh, assisting teachers who are just there to assist those who have special needs. <coughs> but for the public schools, not all schools can afford. So when you get the chance, we go there and help them make it easy. So that is what's up, guys. If you've watched till this far, thank you for watching, thank you for coming and clicking on the video. I hope the video was helpful. And uh, this is just one step of the special needs awareness. We're going to do uh, more videos. Just let me know if you'd like me to do more videos and talk more about special needs and uh, how we can uh, help our students do better and be at uh, the same level with every other learner, how they can uh, coexist in an inclusive setup, how they can uh, do better and work together. Just let me know and then I'm going to bring the video. So kindly consider subscribing if you haven't. Like this video, share the link with your friends and leave me a comment in the comment section. And uh, we'll meet again in the next video. Bye.